Ooh, I've been working. This is my shed. I think it looks a bit extravagant for a shed, but I like it. I need my rabbit ears on. Yes, very extravagant and very detailed. A lot of work put into it just for a shed, but I like it. So far, it's very simple on the inside. It's mostly for practical storage, not really for design or any other use. And it won't last me that long with all the items I have to store and stuff. It's not going to last me long at all. And there's nothing up here yet, but there will be. But by the time this is filled up with all my items and my storage things, I shouldn't need it anymore. I don't mean I'm going to get rid of it or tear it down. I mean by then, I will have another big storage system sorted out and made. And that's got a lot to do with it. I spent about two hours building this this morning, most of which was spent building the roof. I had to tear the entire roof down like three times before I came up with a proper design. I was not happy with it at all, but I like the end result. I think it's quite nice. I wanted to keep it in a similar style to the, the one on the barn, which I think I did a good job of. It's pretty similar, and I like it. As I said, it's a bit extravagant for a shed, but still, we got barrels on the outside, some hay bales out here too. I wasn't sure if I should keep the pile of hay bales here, uh, especially because when you link it up here, it doesn't look very well, because then there's just a whole gap, because it's using half slabs, there's just a whole gap between the hay bales and the wall, and it didn't look very good, but I decided uh, to hell with it, I'm just going to do it anyway, so I did. And I'm very happy with the end result. And it was only at the very end that I just like put the shelves in and all and the trap doors and that just like pulled the entire thing together. It looked horrible without it. Also, the glass panes, they go amazingly well with the half slabs, especially with the stairs and all together with it. I don't know how. They don't exactly line up perfectly. It sort of juts out and the texture, while it's there, it looks invisible, but it like on the side. But it's still there, it's still there. It's just on that particular pixel line you can't really see it but i think it works very well and i really like it just don't really look at it from the side because otherwise it looks weird but yeah it won't take me long to fill this up Guys, welcome back to another episode of Yakraft. I've been notified that there's a note or something over here in front of my base. Welcome to Monotolia. That's a weird name. Now, I've already read this. It's, I'll give you the entire gist because there's a lot of pages. It's basically some of the other members, particularly Short, Winds, Dizzy. They're doing a whole lore event thing, blah, blah, blah. It's about a war and taking over land and stuff. But... This season, I'm not really that interested. I feel like I've done it all before on other seasons, and honestly, I spent so much time of this season already fighting for simply just this area of land that if I get involved in this war, they will take that land off me if I don't do anything, which I know I wouldn't. So I thought to hell with it, I'm not even that bothered to do lore, that much stuff anyway this season for now anyway i might end up changing my mind but i seriously doubt it this season i want to focus on my base because in past seasons i haven't been able to properly finish or establish my base for example in season one i had the hobbit hole and i was constantly just adding on to that and then it felt like chores rather than like building then with season two season two i never got to finish my base Season 3, it was the same story, never got to finish it. Season 4, I want to have a proper, a proper finished and really cool, and really cool looking base. And that's what I plan to go for. Starting with a shed. So, moving on to what I'm doing today. I started building this silo before I went on holiday. I was on a video retreat, you see. And when I got back, I decided I didn't like how this looked. There's not really any way to, to change how it looks to make it better. So... Why not have a little bit of fun and just, like, blow it up? So I called Dizzy over. He's got a fair bit of TNT with him. 
And he should be here any minute now. Oh my god, you got armor trims. Ooh, you look very royal today, Yeah, I found... I, I went into... I found an ancient city right below where I was going to build my base because there was a massive mountain. And this, like, the third chest I opened, I found the, the rarest armor trim in the game. I don't know what how much rarity it is, but apparently, according to um, my friend, it's the rarest one in the game. I, it, I think hey. it is. It's called the Silence one. It looks more like you got redstone armor with diamond trims than the other way around. Yeah. That's that's literally what it's also look at my shield. It's Monotolia. Monotolia? Australia? No no. Mon do you have your spawn set around Australia. here? Australia. I'm pretty sure I, I do. That? Yeah. Why? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, let me put my stuff away first. Just kill me. Get it over with. Hey. Welcome to Monotolia. It sounds like the opening to Jurassic Park. Also, do you like my bunny ears? Yeah, you, those are pretty crazy. Yeah, you know what's even cooler about it? It's just when you kill a rabbit and you put the rabbit head on. Oh. It's pretty cool. That's so weird. Yeah. Kind of weird. But so I have, I have bombs. Mhm. Mm Ooh, you got the skulk. And. Uh, fun steel. I forget. We gonna boom some things up right now. So you see this big thing over here? It was meant to be like a farm silo, and then I didn't like it. So I, I wanna, I wanna light the thing I don't like, like light it up. Cannot ah! grab my water. And we boom. Now you can swim up. You know if you, <laughs> ah, no. you know if you got a gold helmet and uh, put that redstone trim on it, it would look like a crown. I'm one diamond. Okay, let's burn this candle. Ah! Ah! No! I fell! Really? No, I actually didn't. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, that was a yeah, close one. This, this is... What do you mean close one? You're dead. You <laughs> died. <laughs> that was a close one. But... That was a close I'm not, one. Not, I'm not no giant. You should be. You should be no giant. Well, you'd be no guy. Like, YMG guy. YM guy. I am bombing this. I'll put more on trust me this one for a while. Ah! <laughs> I think that's enough now. I think that's good. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Bro's, bro's really thanking me for my acts of terrorism. <laughs> your your armor trips awesome. enhance your eyes. Ah! No! I'm gonna leave you a little gift. No! Oh, no! Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Oh my god, did you see that? Yes, I did. Yo, that was, that was so not cool. what I meant to do. Were you trying to set up like a trap? To like. Yeah, but oh, I. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, if you can do yeah, that. You can if, have... if you can set up a bomb that goes off whenever I try to disarm it, then I'm fine with that. I like a challenge. A few moments later. I gotta go now, so you have <laughs> fun with that. Oh my god. There's about 23 pieces of TNT in there. There's about 23 zombies behind you on that roof. <laughs> oh my god. I'll kill all of them with below. <gasps> oh no, it's gone off! It's gone off! I didn't do anything! No, my path! <laughs> My path, my pavement! Oh, okay, that's, that's not that much damage, that's fine. How much TNT did you uh, use? Uh, 23 pieces. I thought you used like four. Now we gotta figure out a way to fix uh, this. I'll be back later. Alright. See ya, Dizzy. Well, that was an interesting encounter. Many things got blown up. Some things I wanted blown up, well, that all just despawned. Whoa! And some other things I didn't want blown up. But you know, there's never bad TNT. I don't know why I've said that. There's always bad TNT. Oh, we gotta fix this hole. I got scared when it blew up my path because I thought it I thought it was bad. But it's not as bad as I thought. The path that can be very fixed very easily. That's not that much damage. That just scared me when it went off. I don't know how it went off. I think it may have been the spyglass. And I didn't even realize. It spooked me, man. And we got a few presents too. 
Now, I don't know what I'm going to build in place of this. Also, I did get rid of my field. It was causing a bit of lag, even though it was quite small. And I, I did get rid of it. But now, I don't know what to do with these guys. They're out of a job. It'll take ages to put them else, put them somewhere else. And I, I just I don't know what to do. I want to complete that, that little build there. This is going to be like a little shed, a little garage for my tractors because as you can see there's gonna be tractor tracks over there and that leads to that tractor and I'm gonna have a stationary one in there like that one isn't stationary you know what I mean so it's gonna be like a little garage for my tractors the problem is I again don't know what to do with the roof because I can't really build something like that not for a garage it can't be that big I'm thinking what I could do is something similar to this, like a slanted roof going up, uh, starting at the bottom and going up through the back. Oh, actually, similar to this, this, but on a bigger scale, maybe with deep slate. You can see this roof going across the entire, entire garage. And I think it could be quite nice. Obviously, it's just for show. I don't expect to have any functionality to the garage, just like part of my farm. And it was taking me... Oh my god, that scared me. I thought you were a flashing creeper. It had taken me ages to build the, the... Why are you here? Saturn must have put you here. I was taking... It was taking ages to build the, the little garage because I didn't have bricks, so I stocked up on them this morning. And now, I should have enough to finish it. At least the walls. There's a tree in the way. There we go. I think I made a few too much than I needed. But there, we finally finished the walls. That took a surprise on me a long time. Oh my god, that scared me. I built a chicken farm before I went on my holiday, and then I automated it all this morning. And as you can see there, every time now, a chicken lays an egg or two, it'll go down there, and once there's enough eggs, that'll activate that, and it'll launch the eggs out there, and then the chickens go in there. And then when they grow up, they die from the lava, and then their burnt carcasses go in here. It's not very fast, but it is a, it is very effective, especially once it's in the area that I'm working in a lot. So it's constantly running. My question is, why does Saturn bring a, a strider and how into my basement? Please consider turning up the AC and then I will get hot here. <laughs> how does it get hot in the basement? And I suppose that's all for now. For today, I think I'll finish recording and maybe start to get to work on fixing this or purposing it for something i don't know it could be a big pool i i honestly don't know why would there be a big hole on any farm i'm not doing it as a mine i don't know i don't know find out soon i'm probably just gonna fill it in but for now i'm gonna get rid of the remains of this and fill this in